Hey YouTube, it's Michelle Miko Dean. Welcome back to the channel and another awesome crochet slay. Now Sam's Beauty was kind enough to send me the Curl Crush Spiral Wand Curl in the color 1B27. You get two bundles per pack and I can tell you right off the back, what I love in addition to the color is how soft and light the hair is. Now that can tend to lend to some frizz, so I decided to use the hair to make a crochet wig. So what you're gonna need is a wig cap, a crochet needle, a mannequin head, and a stand. This is my first time using this type of wig cap, but what's neat about it is it's broken up into four sections to help you plan the layout of your wig. It's bunching up a little in the back, so I'm gonna secure the edges with T-pins so it lays nice and flat. And now that I have the base together, all I have to do is start crocheting here to the cap. So I'm gonna start right at the base, right above the band, using this single knot method. And even though this hair is super soft, guys, look how secure that knot is. And that is just with a single knot. So I really loved working with this hair because it was such a quick install. And you can see I'm not separating the hair because I want the bulk and volume in the back and along the sides. So I'm not gonna start separating the hair until I get to the top. And I wanted to be sure to show you this part of the install so you can see how far apart I'm spacing the hair. I wanna make sure I don't pack the hair in so it doesn't get too full, guys, because a little goes a long way with crochet hair. So give me all you got right now. I know I'm yours, baby. So come give me love. You know you're my baby. So come give me love. I never feel nothing quite like this. I get a high every time we all right guys, so here's what we're looking like with one pack installed. And even though it looks like I have a lot of hair on the cap, you can see how far apart I space the hair, again, so it doesn't get too bulky. And I wanna remind you to avoid crocheting hair along the seam. That's so the wig cap can retain its elasticity. All right, so all that's left now is the top. You can see the grids are spaced a little bit closer together. So I'm going to separate the strands. This hair separates like a dream, guys. It was so easy to work with. Now at the crown, I'm gonna go ahead and space that hair really close together to make sure it's fully covered. And so my finished wig looks flawless, okay? And after that, I'm just installing enough hair to close the gaps. I wanted the front of the wig to be light and airy, so I made sure I didn't pack it in. So this is my last strand. You know, I'm gonna pull the hair to the front because this is my bang wig. You're not going to see the front hairline, so I just wanted enough hair to make me some cute little bangs, and this is how it turned out. I thought it was super cute. It turned out exactly the way I wanted it to. So now I'm just going to trim the ends, to give it that heart-shaped look that I'm going for. And that's it. It was so quick and easy, guys. And what's really convenient about making this into a wig is that I can wear the style anytime I want and I don't have to put in all the work. To tame the frizz, I'm gonna use my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. So I'm just gonna lightly spritz the hair with water first and then add the mousse. The curls are gonna spring right back, but you can see it kind of tames that frizz and gives the wig that super natural, shiny, healthy look that I love. I feel the same. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me. So I just put my hair back in the ponytail, slick down my edges. But I will say, because this wig cap does not have combs, I recommend you add some cornrows to the front so you can secure the base of the wig with bobby pins before you wear this out of the house. All right? Don't say I didn't tell you. And this is the finished look. Oh, she's adorable. I'm gonna have to give her a name. 
leave me some comments below. Let me know what I should name her. Sasha, I don't know. Sasha is my go-to name for everything. But it turned out super duper cute, guys. And you know me, I gotta have some styling options. So I had to try my go-to side part and I think it turned out so sexy and flirty. How cute is this? And I love that I can have my natural edges exposed with this wig because I think that makes any style look more natural when you're wearing extensions. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and got some helpful tips on how to slay your crochet wigs. I'd like to send a big shout out and thank you to Sam's Beauty for sending me this hair to review. I'm going to leave the link to samsbeauty.com and all the deets on this hair below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the crew if you haven't done so already. And be sure to like, comment, and share this video. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.